From the Samsung Galaxy S4 to the Sony Xperia ZL, 5-inch Android headsets are the hottest part of the smartphone market today. And HTC is hoping life will be a dream with its new HTC One. The successor to 2012's HTC One X, HTC One, is actually 4.7 inches, but we won't hold that against it. While it's a third of an inch smaller than Samsung's Galaxy S4, it packs more pixels with 468 per inch in its 1080p display. Combine that with the Beats audio, and it's great for watching videos. With its all-aluminum case, HTC One feels substantial and not cheap or plastically like some of its competitors. It looks big, but it's quite light at 143 grams and fits in my pocket quite easily. And in a neat feature, the power button doubles as an IR transmitter, so no more looking for the remote control. HTC One runs the Android Jelly Bean operating system with a few added HTC touches. One of them is Blink Feed, which is designed to aggregate your social media with other trusted news sources. I didn't find it all that helpful though, just one more screen to skip past. I did however like, like HTC's intuitive setup program, which I ran on my desktop. It helped me find some useful apps and send them directly to my phone. For example, this Cardiograph app, which uses the camera to measure my pulse. More often than not though, it told me I had no pulse, so perhaps I just should see a doctor instead. One benefit of a bigger screen is a larger keyboard, helpful for those who, like myself, prefer the hard QWERTY keypad. And we can't forget the camera. It's of decent enough quality. Here's a steak with mac and cheese I enjoyed in California a few weeks back. It was delicious. And look, it can take phone calls too. It's available now for most major Canadian carriers, including Rogers, who will want $149 for it on a three-year contract, or $649 to buy it outright. I'm Jeff Jedris, and thanks for watching All Hands on Tech.